Well, ultimately, it starts off the cup defence successfully. It was a bit more narrower than, than it could have been, though. Yeah, listen, you know, cup games are about getting through. I don't think we played anywhere near our best today. And we looked a little bit disjointed, you know, whether it's a Sunday morning. I have no idea. You know, I'm not going to make excuses for them. I think we can be better than that. But playing cup football, I respect how your performance is. You know, we wanted to get through to the next round. Um, it makes you think we've a lot of work to do because I think a lot of players have... have um, Played a lot better than that this season, but just collectively we didn't look joined up. Uh, you know, we looked a little bit uh, dishevelled at times, and they upset us. You know, they closed us down, they put us under pressure. But ultimately, if we take our chances in the first half, the game, the game's dead right of sight. We haven't done that. You know, we get a goal just before half time, and as long as it stays one 0 we keep them alive. You know, and their balls in the box, and a couple of near things by the post, it becomes a little bit nervous at the end, and it affects people's mindset in their game. But um, more than pleased just to get through the game. Dylan Mackin was missing through suspension. Do you feel he was a bit of a loss today up front in terms of finishing off those opportunities you spoke about? Yeah, he probably is. You know, sometimes we, you know, we can be critical of Dylan just about how he goes about his business sometimes, and, and it's not critical. But I, I just always think he can be better. Um, but I think in a day like today, we, you know, we missed him. You know, James is a young man trying to make his way in the game, and it's tough. You know, he's coming into a tough environment, a tough game, physical game. Hasn't played a lot of twenties football. Played a lot of seventeens, and it just shows he's a bit still to go with his work rate and his. As all around game, so listen, we've, we've loads of patience for that. I'm, I'm not blaming him. We brought him off. Just we try to mix things up and change it around. But I think certainly when we have Dylan Macken on the team, we look more of a threat. You know, every time Dylan lands on the ball around a bit of goal, I always think he's going to score. So he probably would have maybe gotten the end of a couple of loose chances, maybe just a little bit sharper, a little bit older than what James is. So you know, really being critical of James, yeah, you know, you miss you miss your senior players in the under twenties, um, and we missed him today. So, but just in general, you know, I'm disappointed. There's so many bad decisions. It's, it's funny, you know, so the game can do that. You know, playing against a team who have nothing to lose or pushing men forward, probably playing as well as they've ever played, um, us playing below our levels, and then the game becomes even, it becomes scrappy, it becomes, you know, difficult to get any kind of foothold in the game. So, um, yeah, there's no doubt we missed Dylan, but all around we have to try and realise that we have to be better than that. I suppose probably Spurs have been this season, but we've still managed to win. So ultimately, how are you feeling at the end of that? Just happy and, and relieved that the defence has started well on your throat? Yeah, probably disappointed more than anything. You know, I, I expect a little bit more from us. You know, if that was the first time you'd ever came to say around the 20th, then you'd be thinking, you know, that they're not as impressive as what people say, but we get off days. You know, we have to understand the young players, consistency is the word we've always spoken. Probably the two games this season where we haven't been at our best was Hibs away and here today. So we have to learn lessons from it. You know, we always like to go back to the training pitch and try and work on things. Um, but we just seemed a yard away from where we'd like to be. And, you know, maybe we felt the game was easier than what it was. I don't understand. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're through. That was the most important thing was, was trying to build on it. You know, last year we didn't look ahead and think where well, we could end up in the cup. We just took the game at a time, and that's what we'll do this year. We've won the game, we've got another game on Wednesday against Hearts. We're freshening some of the boys up. I'm sure some of the first team players will drop down and see where we are. Because the boys have been playing so well this season, they've been getting calls up to the first team. Ross McLean played yesterday, Jack McMillan. Do you think that's maybe an impact on the performance today, that the fact that they've been playing so well and it's maybe taking a toll of perhaps? Yeah, potentially. You know, I'd said, I'd said to Ross there, you know, I respect what game you play, and Ross has got to be habit sometimes when he comes in the pitch. He tries to complicate things. You know, as a wide player coming inside, they get involved in the game. You have to keep the ball. You know, that's the most important thing. And sometimes he gets a little bit ahead of himself and he tries little flicks and tricks, and it can be frustrating. But I've said to him, whether you're playing twenties or whether you're playing first team, you have to continue to do the same things. You know, continue to do the good work that got you into the first team. Don't come back from the first team and think you're somebody different. So you know, he hasn't played for 10, 10 12 days, and you can see that. You can see that he was a wee bit off. It takes him a while to get into, into his rhythm and play. So. I mean, it's a reward for them to go and play in the first team. And, you know, they've been excellent, they've done really well. There's a few more, um, I think, are close to it. Probably not based on today's performance, but based over the season so far, there's a few more. So um, we just keep our heads up. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Congratulations. Cheers.